so here we are at True Farm and we're gonna show off a little bit of our solar system. So this is a full solar system. So this unit is made to go off grid. Um, we have other appliances in here that are either pulling from propane or from uh, the DC direct. So we also have LED light fixtures, really thought through the whole process um, to make this system successful. So right now on the ceiling, on the, on the roof, are four 400 watt um, solar panels. So it's a 1600 watt input from the sun. Uh, it's 40 volts per panel. So pretty nice high quality panel. Um, and it's all wired in the roof and it comes down and I wanna show you this, um, how we kind of put our solar system together. Um, all the inverters, all the controls are all right in this closet here. So right off the bat, we can see the big ba batteries. Um, the batteries are, 20 or 48 volt a piece and they're both 26 point or 25.6 volts a piece so it's a it makes a 48 volt system lots of numbers here um so we're right around 5100 watts that we can store so our solar panels provide you know all the energy dumps it into the um, the batteries of course we have our inverter kind of the, one of the hearts of the system it's a good switch, so you can have shore power that goes to the inverter or that changes from um, DC to AC. So this is a key component. On the left here is our MPPT, which is also controls our, um, you know, the power from the solar panels comes through here. Of course, we have our disconnect. There's some nice labeling here. So if you ever want to service the panels, you can easily disconnect it from the system. That's really important. As we come across, there's a simple, here's our 12 volt fuse box block. So all our DC loads go through that. If there's ever a few, you know, something's not working on a certain circuit, that's the first place I would go to see if the fuse, uh, a fuse popped. So you'd either, you just pop off that little lid. There's also a little light that pops on if, there, if the fuse isn't working. And um, I can kind of zoom in here a little bit and show what it, what it looks like. It's nicely labeled. Right to the right is also a really important disconnect. So that is called, that's the battery disconnect. 12 volt, it says 12 volt disconnect. So if um, when we ship it, we actually turn this disconnect to the off position. All of a sudden all the lights went off. That's because now the 12 volt system in the, in the unit is off. After shipping, you want to come in and turn that on. That's the only thing that you need to do to turn on this system. Um, now it's on. Okay, so we also have a lot of controls over here on the right. There's a couple disconnects for um, maintenance if needed. Don't need to dive into that at this point, but these are some high quality components that are, that are part of the whole system that keeps it a really smart system. Um, here's our Servo GX. That is actually one of the brains of the system that powers this screen amongst other things. And so the screen is an easy interface to see how much power you have in your house right now, how much is being produced. Right now we're in the warehouse, so there's no um, no solar right now, so it says zero. But you can see <clears throat> the batteries are at 100%. You can see our DC power load, 113, 125 watts, where the fridge is on. We have all the LED lights are on, so it's actually drawing quite a bit of power. The AC load, that's your typical, whatever you plug into an AC outlet, a typical house outlet, we're right around 92 watts. <clears throat> the grid, so we're plugged in, um, in the warehouse, we actually physically plug in, it's called shore power. So right now the power is coming from the grid through our inverter and then either charging the battery or we're using it on our different loads. So it's really a nice interface. Um, as you swipe, you can also see some other kind of other options. I mean, you can really get in, customize this, this look. I'm gonna go back to this one. I click on it and then we go to the menu. There's a couple of things I wanna show you on the settings page here. So settings and this thing called DVCC. <clears throat> if for some reason you're gonna plug into a shore power that's not the big 30 amp cord, let's say you have a 12, a 12 gauge extension cord that you got from Home Depot and you're just, you just need to step up to the house. 
but you don't want to put 30 amps through a 12 gauge cord. You want to put 20 amps. So you're going to click on this and do a maximum current of 20 amps. So that's pretty important if you want to just maintain and then you have to check. So now 20 amps is the maximum amount of current you're going to draw through that extension cord. So that's a pretty important feature if you're going to plug it into um, the house using a different size extension cord. Another really interesting one is um, this VRM online portal. So this number right here is a unique number for this system. If you're connected to Wi-Fi, which is down here, um, Ethernet or um, Wi-Fi. So if you're connected to Wi-Fi, a local Wi-Fi network, and you let us know about this um, this number here, we can actually remotely uh, connect to the system and diagnose possible issues, problems, um, seeing what's actually happening in real time. So it's a really nice feature to, to keep you going and keep you up and running. Um, I also want to show you this, uh, this pad. So this is a, um, this guy right here is just, you can download this app on any computer, any tablet or any, any phone. And then it'll actually show you the exact same thing that we were just looking at. So we're going to go to the servo that's on. Very exciting. Um, I think it's this one. So it's connecting here. And it's showing the same thing. No current coming in because we're inside the factory. Let me get rid of that right now. And it shows the voltage actually is 46. So that makes sense. Um, I'm not going to enable. And so that has the history. So if we were using power over time, it would show how much comes in, comes out. There's a trend. Here's another uh, graph. So there's a really kind of interesting interface that you can have sit on your couch and control your solar system. So every uh, every system has this capacity. It's free. Totally recommend it. But that's kind of a, a quick tour of what we can offer here. This is our Victron system, and um, we're excited about it. It's well maintained. It's a high quality system. A lot of people know about it. So it's well supported wherever you go. So hope you enjoy it. And uh, any information, let me know.